Welcome, young alchemists. Today, you find yourselves trapped in the laboratory of an ancient alchemist. To escape, you must solve the mysteries of ionic bonding. In each part of this video, you'll face challenges and puzzles. Solve them correctly to progress and ultimately escape the lab. Let's begin. First, let's understand what ionic bonds are. Imagine sodium, nae, as a knight with one extra, electron, and chlorine, Cl, as another knight who needs one more electron to be complete. Imagine a brave knight, standing alone in an enchanted forest. This knight represents a metal atom, and the glowing orbs around him symbolize the electrons in his outer shell. The knight has an equal number of positive protons and negative electrons, but to be more stable, he needs to lose some of these electrons. When the knight loses one or more electrons, the balance between his protons and electrons changes, causing him to have a permanent positive charge because the number of protons now exceeds the number of electrons. The positive charge depends on the imbalance between protons and electrons. The sodium lost one electron, so it has 11 protons, and now 10 electrons only. While magnesium loses two electrons, so it has 12 protons, and now 10 electrons only. And aluminum loses three electrons, so it has 13 protons and 10 electrons. All metals become positively charged by losing electrons to achieve stability. When this happens, they are no longer called atoms, they are called positive ions. Non-metals on the other side can accept electrons, increasing their number of electrons beyond their number of protons. This change turns them from neutral atoms into negatively charged ions. Now if you want to be free, you need to answer our first question to untie one of your ropes and be able to get out of here eventually. If you answered the question right, you can proceed to the next video and move a step forward to be released, otherwise I am very sorry to tell you your fate.